Brody after a week off, how have all the guys uh, integrated and recouped after that South Africa test? Yeah, it's, um, it's tough coming home or, or being in Africa for one week and then coming home and, and trying to get the body back to where it was in terms of sleeping and, and adjusting to time. But, um, you know, it's good to have a few days off and then obviously the whole 41's back in here in Auckland, so it's good to have the group back together as a full and, and uh, everyone's pretty excited for the challenge. What is it about the Bledisloe Cup that gets everyone so excited? Yeah, I think it's probably just the rivalry of you know Australia and New Zealand, and um, you know obviously it probably not as prominent um, in the last few years as, as it hasn't been too much of a contest, and we've held on to it for a long time. But I think to the All Blacks, you know, it still means a huge amount that that we don't want to let the let the Aussies get it. So um, you know, it's, it's a big cup to win. With that in mind and only two more matches left before the World Cup, how important is it that you guys put out a, you know, a convincing performance this week? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's going to be huge. Obviously, um, this week the Rugby Championship and, the, and one of the Buddhas lows on it. So if we can win this week, then um, you know, we'll be able to wrap up both. And you know, the last few weeks we've made a lot of changes and people have played in a lot of different combinations. So now it's sort of the time where... Now we've got to get past that point and, and put a good team performance on the field. So I think he runs, um, you know, pretty happy and, and excited to do it this week. You know, last week you pretty much played with one leg. What's your limit? Like no limbs or? <laughs> oh, I'd, maybe I'll try. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to run too quick. <laughs>